What is going on, everybody? Patrick Quick here, and today we're doing that little cameo from Friday, box number 18. Let's get into this box. As always, after this is all said and done, I will put up a slide for the prices that I individually price these at from three different websites and take the average price of those to see if this is worth the value that I paid for this box. At Walmart, I pay $17.88 and tax, so roughly $18 with some change for each one of these boxes. You go to Dick's, they're $20 a box. So I always wait till I see a new one at Walmart because I get them a little bit cheaper. And then, as, as of lately, we've noticed, as I've priced them out, that they're actually worth more than the $25 value. I don't know if that's because the prices have gone up because of inflation from the lack of stuff on the shelves because of COVID and everything that has happened with the people picking up as a hobby. Or, you know, maybe that's just regular prices. And as always, the companies like these box companies get a wholesale price and they get a certain amount off of that. So for them, it may be a $25 value, but an actual street value is way more. So without further ado, with all that out of the way, let's get in here. Ooh, there's some sexy stuff in here. All right, so as always, there's the dibble. Unscramble these fishing words. So there is, it's a different one. The card shows that there are five things in here. And I'm excited. The first thing that we have here, it's a color that's been um, really popular lately this fire crawl and this is a Dobbins D blade spinner bait let's get this out they call this the Delta crawl but a lot of other places you'll see it as a fire crawl color back but I mean that is just so bright so red nice willow blades on there Look at that, got the gold fleck in there with the black. That's my phone, we'll be back. Sorry about that everybody, that was an important call that I had to take there, so um, I'm back and let's get right back into it. So we left off at the Dobbins. This big boy is a half ounce, so he's pretty heavy and hefty. Like I was saying, I love that gold fleck in there. There is no, oh, there is a keeper. All right, it's hidden up there. So there is a keeper on there, right there, for a trailer. I'm not sure if this bearing is supposed to be there or if it just got stuck there and it's supposed to be up here. I would think it would be up here, but maybe this blade will ride right, right here and uh, work however it is. If there is issues, I obviously will have to move that bead down, but overall, it's still... Wonderful looking spinner bait. That heavier weight, you're gonna be able to punch through some stuff. It's gonna get down there deeper in the water column. Awesome, awesome first lure in the box. The next thing we have in the box is a Janko Fishing CD2 square bill, three quarter ounce in the bluegill. And this is really, really sick. I love the way this looks. Let's get this. It's got this little rubber band on the, the hooks here. They are sharp. Wow. And there we go. And there it is. The Janko CD2 square bill. Look at that prismatic hologram finish on the sides of it. That purple and green pumpkin coloration with those darker purple stripes. That dark, dark purple here with the Janko. All right, take that back. Well, maybe it is dark purple. It, it almost looks black. It's like a dark, like, berry color. And then those really cool eyes that look like they're hunting. Looking down hunting. Big one knock in there. I like that. Those hooks are sharp. Very, very sleek and awesome looking design. And I love how it's gonna distribute 
you can feel it go all the way back in the tail here and all the way up here. So when this is casted, it's going to give you more range because of the way that that distributes the weight. Very, very cool. I love that prismatic hologram type of deal that's going on with the actual color pattern. Square Bill by Jenko Fishing. The next thing that we have in here are some net bait, five inch flex worms, and key lime puck. And it's an eight pack. Let's get these open here. These are pretty cool. If this would pop open, there we go. They almost look like caterpillars or millipedes. All those tiny little ball feet that are going to make really, really good motion in the water. And it's got a ridge right here, too, on the top of it. So the entire thing is kind of like a triangle. I don't know if you can see that like that. So I, I can only imagine that this is going to look really, really sick in the water. This part is actually just normal, like rounded, except with the feet. And then it tapers into that ridge. So I'm really, really excited to see how this is going to act in the water. Really, really cool, unique design, looking like a millipede or a caterpillar. And this is the key line. It does have a scent to it. Um, it's pleasant, like licorice. So I ain't mad at it. My hands can smell like licorice. Let's get these guys back in there. Really, really cool. Unique looking worms. Uh, the color being green, it's going to be a good one on the lake that I go to. And there they are packaged up. Net baits. Made in the U.S. And I always like things that are made in the U.S. I support U.S. made stuff. And it gets um, an approval from me. Uh, I really dig the design and the coloration. Next we have some Gambler Go Fish Craws. And they're called BB Cricket. And these are also made in US. Ooh, they actually have a shrimp. Ooh. That was uh, potent. They have a shrimp smell to them, like a dead crawfish smell to them. And if you've ever smelled a dead crawfish, you know what I'm talking about. It's not pleasant. <laughs> but here we are with like that natural, that brown and orange. It's got some uh, orange and black fleck in there, that darker brownish orange, that bright orange. Going to be good on a Ned Rig. Perfect small little baits for a Ned Rig. That one's not pleasant, and I'm not happy my finger smells like that. <laughs> Ooh, got to be careful without touching it. And the last thing in here are some laser claw, laser sharp, four uh, wide gap hooks, a little three pack. So, and a catch coast sticker. So that is everything that came in the box. If you liked the stuff that was in the box. Let me know what was your favorite, or if you thought this box was decent. I am going to price it out, like I said in the beginning of here, and we will see how much all this is actually worth if you were to buy it separately to see if the value of the box was, in fact, worth it. Uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do and hit that bell so you never miss one of my videos. Hit that thumbs up button, and again, leave me comments. I will respond as soon as I can. I love hearing feedback and what you guys think. And also, if you would like me to read off the dibbles um, when I do these, or incorporate the dibble and read off some of the tips and tricks for things that may be in there that uh, you would like to know to help you with your fishing game, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to hear some of that dibble. Thanks for sticking with me, and I'll catch you all later.